Hazel and Will from Grayson Hobby, and today we're gonna go over the FB or Fat B 90 from Eashine. <laughs> First thing we got this, it's a Tyrannus version. Yes. Which, if you know about anything about us, we have Spectrum and and Fly Sky. So we had to. Uh, what do we have to do, Will? Luckily, one of my buddies was able to let me borrow his Tyrannus radio for this review. Um, we don't. No one. Neither one of us had a Tyrannus yeah. radio. I don't have a Tyrannus. Please don't ask me Tyrannus setup questions. I don't know anything about. What's in the box? All right. So in the box, let's open the sucker up. You'll see you have three different options: DSM2, which is Spectrum, Fly Sky, which is the Eosine radios, also, and FR Sky, which is your Tyrannus. So inside here, first things first: manual. Awesome. Again, we have a really nice color manual explains how to set up, how to bind depending on which radio you got, and basic setup. So that's that right there. Now we got the Fat B90. We have four extra props in yellow, so it'd be nice to do yellow in the front, black in the back if, for orientation for me. Uh, it does come with two sets of Velcro. I already cut one in half um, to be able to mount the battery. So you got your Velcro with it, little prop wrench here. You got an extra clockwise and counterclockwise motor. And Eosheen's starting to use SH plugs. Uh, this is great because if you burn out a motor, you don't have to solder, it's plug and go. We have two batteries. These are 400 milliamp, 7.4 volts. They still use the same uh, Walkera Hubson low C mini connector. So we got two batteries there. I put Velcro on this one already, but there's your two four cell, or I'm sorry, two cell batteries right there. And then we got a special charger for the two cell LiPo. So this is different than the one cells because it charges up to 8.4, not 4.2. So just to be clear, these are 2S packs. Yes, two cell. Yeah, that make sure you notate 2S versus yes. the 1S. And I don't know if you can see it in here. It says USB charger 2S. So make sure you use the right one when you go to charge them. Okay. All right. All right, so Fat B90 initial comparison. Um, remember two cell, one cell. We're gonna compare it with the QX90 here. QX90 uses the one cell battery. So let's get a baseline of the weights here. What are we doing with weight wise? Your QX90 without battery is 36.6 grams. FB90, 42.3 grams. Wow, that's a 42.2. Um, battery wise, single cell battery is 15 grams. The two cell LiPo on the FB90 is 21.1. 63.4 compared to 51.5. One thing off the bat, after looking at it, we flew it, and the blades will scrape initially. You'll hear some sounds, but the blades scrape in the ducting. All right, this is half throttle. That sounds terrible. It's probably the fans rubbing in the duct. Now let's crack this thing open here. All right, so in here, we got little pop tabs on the bottom. So let's open this thing up, which you'll need to do in order to bind it. All right, so we got our body off. Um, camera is gonna be, looks like the same as the QX70 uses, but. All right, this is a video of a video. This is this guy right here looking at it. So, video quality is actually really nice on this one. Um, Eosheen's doing a great job with their little mini cameras on their all their micros. So that is, if, probably doesn't look that clear in the camera, but I'm looking through beyond the camera, right into the screen directly, and that's, that's, man, that's, very, very clear. But the antenna has been modified for the low profile. Um, again, we're looking at plug-in connectors, which is awesome. Definitely, definitely big props to Eosheen for that. Um, this is a two-cell LiPo model. It does not look like it has a jumper. I could be wrong. I don't see anything in particular that allows it to um, go to one cell from two cell configuration. Now, right here in the corner, this is a FrySky model. Um, right here, are these two little solder pads that's where you're gonna to jump to bind it. Now you need something with good conduct conductivity in order to bind it. Um, sometimes if you can't get to bind with a regular screwdriver, try a different one. Yeah, because we had that same issue today. We had yeah, we couldn't get to bite with one, uh, bind with one of the screwdrivers to get into bind mode, but we ended up taking a magnetic tip one and it worked. So, uh, one thing I did notice out of the box, some of the ducts were not tightened down all the way. Could be another reason for the vibration noise, which you'll see in a minute. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and just snug these up 
just a hair. All right, so go over the ducts. How are they um, in terms um, of? Comparing to the other ducted quad from Eosheen, these are a lot stronger on the QX70. Uh, these are almost just for looks. Uh, they're very, very flimsy. Yeah, look at that, I can um, see them flexing. Yeah, they're, they're very flexible, probably create a little bit of noise. They might give you a little bit if you bump into something. Just don't crash. Yeah, don't crash it. LEDs, um, like the QX70, and the QX95, it has addressable red, green, blue LEDs right here um, on both sides where the eyes go. So as you give it throttle and all that, the eyes can change, they're pre-programmed. Good little setup there, pretty cool that they're addressable LEDs. You can move around, do whatever you want with them, but they come with that. The camera is also has a button here to rotate direct, like uh, video upside down, right side up, and then the channel selector is right here. Channel and band is on the back. So why would you want to put that video up upside down? Depends on how you mount the camera. It's more of a universal camera. I got you. All right, battery installation. What do you do here? Battery installation, you'll put a piece of Velcro on the bottom here. You put a piece of Velcro on the battery, and it's just going to stick on there. Um, oh, wow. That's easy enough. That's that right there. And let's get this thing back together, and let's get it flying. How much power does it take to stay half throttle um, or hover? Let's see. I am still a little overlay here. Hovering. Well, let's get it. Holding hover rate right about half. It's slowly climbing. So it's not visible. Now. Oops. There we go. Okay. The noise is pretty good start right now. There's something black that's over here in the floor. <laughs> What's your feedback? Uh, well, we did crash it earlier and I broke a prop. So again, not a fan of these props whatsoever. I don't like the four blade props from Eosheen. Second of all, the ducks, little brittle, one hard crash. Granted, I was going pretty fast. I was getting a little overconfident with this thing. And of course, what happens? You crash. Um, pretty cool though. It was very smooth, very smooth in flight. Um, I think out of the box settings, are pretty good. I wish it had more vertical, but I think that might be more of a weight issue. Maybe go to a smaller battery two cell. Uh, I'd be interested in try a 300 milliamp uh, two cell, something like maybe a little 300 Gen Ace or something like that. Uh, might be a better fit for this, just a little lighter weight. Um, who knows? But I think if we can shave a little bit of weight off it, you'll definitely get more power out of it. I think we need to change props. That might be in a later video. We'll see. I'm going to play with different props. Other than that, very smooth, good video. Two cell operation, um, guys that want a two cell little brush quad, this is a step in the right direction. All right, so we have to end this review because somebody broke the quad. We can't fly it anymore. Yeah, apparently the Tyrannus radio did not make me a, a Steeler Schizo, right. so um, I crashed. Uh, to be fair to everybody, we again, we are flying it in our little showroom right here. We have lots of shelves and a hard corner over here where there's lots of stuff in the way. Stuff is hanging from the ceiling. So just to be fair to everybody, this is not the yeah. best environment to Bottom fly. Bottom line, I hit a metal rack, right. uh, display rack, and I, I broke it because I tried to fly through something that was half its size. So we're definitely going to do a part two of this video. We're going to um, take the blades, and we're going to modify the blades. Or Will's going to modify the blades. Yeah, I'm going to try different blades on it, see if we get a better improvement, because it definitely made a huge improvement that. on the QX70 different blades. So I'm going to try something similar on that, see what that does. Um, and then I'm also going to maybe play with taking the ducks off or not. I'm not really sure yet. All right. Stay tuned for part two and subscribe and give us a thumbs up for crashing. <laughs> <laughs>